terms of education, I mean, we have teachers who come to our sessions to run marathon in English language. It turned out that they are being taught by the children because they could not understand what on earth, why the children were writing as they write. It is their reality. It is their reality. If you eat a food and you have a box with different sections, then somebody say, boy, you, you have a money. You're just a bouncer sepulchre. Because what? You get more than, you know the, the, the square box there with the other little section, so you know you're getting a sepulchre food today. So, you know, it is not. And in terms of the economy of the community, which is great, this is where the greatest impact is. Number one, the police is going to stop all activities that brings fundraising to that community. Secondly, all the little shops that do their business has to close. They can't function because there are curfews that says you have to go to bed at a certain time. And therefore, do that it's lost. The economy in the community is lost. The people who work outside of the community, like at Burger King, where a bus will take them home, the bus is not going to go in, so they have to stop working. So even, it is so easy for us to sit around and say these people don't want a job. They cannot function. The children are totally traumatized. We have our children in community where parents have to wake up, put a ladder against a wall, and allow their children to cross over into the schoolyard because she can't be seen coming through her gate because she's breaking the rule. Violence is not a nice thing for in a city, and it is easy to judge, but when you start understanding it, you see why the people behave as they behave, and they are trying to survive. And all that behavior, it's about camouflaging and protecting their persona. They must survive. It is clear that crime is... It, in a study on violence and urban poverty in Jamaica, Moza points to the fact that the clearest impact of endemic violence on a community is the social fragmentation that often results in eroding social capital. Now what exactly is this social capital? This social capital, it has numerous definitions, but it's basically the norms and social relations that enable people to work, collaborate together. Social capital only exists when it is shared. According to a famous African proverb, a human becomes a human because of other humans. Social capital, therefore, involves the interpersonal and interorganizational relationships, the networks and kinships, kinships that enable or in the collaboration. No, when we were growing up, you could get trust at any shop. When your mother don't have anything, she said, you got trust, and it was there. Today, that don't happen, because a man in a shop in a inner city not going trust. Very few, because probably have a bad son, and when he asks you for the money, the son might just come for him. So I'm not going to trust him food to anybody. So it begins to break down. That whole thing of caring for children. Neighbors would take your children and give a high for you to go and look at work. It's not there anymore because probably your son had killed my uncle or your cousin had killed my son. So therefore, there is no kind of kinship and there's so much mistrust for each other, even if they are blood relatives. Now, Grace Kennedy has created a response to all this. And then you wonder, no, what on earth is this private sector company doing working in all this? Some people say it's extortion money because they don't have any, um, there's nothing that says they have to do it. So why are they doing it? What are they getting out of it? That is the first question. So the mistress is that we must be paying something. I don't know, but Mr. Webb, you know of any, because I don't pay any. Eh? So probably somebody know and I don't know. It's probably the biggest secret in grace, but I don't know about it. Now, the response, in response, Grace Kennedy committed to maintaining their roots 
opted to remain at their present location on Harbor Street, which is where I call between the devil and the deep blue sea. Grace Kennedy chose to take the proactive and novel approach of investing in the communities in which they abide by funding and supporting developmental activities and programs which engage the residents and allow them to participate in the decision-making process. This was a catalyst in empowering community residents to take responsibility for the sustainable de development of their future while rebuilding that social and human capital that we spoke about. Additionally, Grace Kennedy Company believed that the business community needed to take a more proactive approach as it relates to corporate, corporate social responsibility. And as such, the Grace and Staff Community Development Foundation was born in 1979. The main function of the foundation was to provide community support while alleviating the impact of the prevailing social and economic conditions that were impeding production. That is, those things we talk about, the robbing, the grabbing of bags, the removal of the cars. Today, the foundation's mission is building a bridge of human care and understanding through community involvement and volunteerism to achieve organizational strengthening and community empowerment. In order to achieve this mission, its objectives are to relieve poverty, suffering, and distress among the poor and unemployed, to educate the dependents of the destitute and unemployed, and support the activities which promote community development. Over the years, the foundation's programs have been improving the community's social and economic outlook while developing the level of trust among community members that is needed for the free access to the community by persons wanting to carry out social intervention programs similar to grace and staff. This level of interaction of grace within the communities in which it operates has helped to strengthen governance structures through the education of youths as well as repair the bridge of human and social capital. And you will, you will see later on why we say that. The, the, the Grace and Staff Foundation take the view that a holistic approach is necessary to achieve community development. It therefore uses a participatory methodology which allows community to share information. We never have knowledge. Communities are the expert in our eyes identify, analyze, and prioritize issues for intervention, decide on programs best suited for implementation by the foundation. These programs are the pillars on which social capital can be rebuilt. These pillars include the following, economic, which is ensuring employability of youths and providing microcredit financing, education, which includes financial support, professional mentoring, and provision of facilities and resources for academic improvement. Counseling of individuals and groups, where individuals are allowed to debrief in order to arrive at ways in which they can cope with their circumstances. And health support, which is, and these activities include providing emergency prescription, especially for our young and golden ages. They suffer from arthritis. Half the times they go to the hospital, medication might be, a, it, it is not accessible. It might be available, but not accessible. So in most instances, they have to go to the, the pharmacy. So we have a partnership and we assist those persons. The babies suffer tremendously from asthmatic conditions, and sometimes we must ease that condition. Health support activities, which is providing emergency prescription and access to a clinic, 
capacity building and, uh, and governance, which provides support for parents of inner city kids. And uh, that is, which is commonly called PIC. And you might say, PIC? PIC is such a negative word. But we have PIC. It's negative, but very positive parents and moving forward. And support for LIC, which is our Learning Institute of Central Kingston, our largest homework center. We, facil we facilitate meetings of parents each month, and Central Kingston task team and organize rival groups for a dialogue. Now, Central Kingston task team, I know we have among us some of the founding members, one of the best time in downtown Kingston. We had the task team where we met with rival youths, youths who are in trouble. And I'm telling you, for three years, those youngsters did not rise a gun. It was the best three years downtown. 